Hi everybody, welcome back once again, and as you can see, we're doing yet another Nancy Drew game. Now you may be wondering why exactly I'm doing another Nancy Drew game after starting a Nancy Drew game so recently, but it was entirely up to the random number generator, okay? Yes, I have so many games that I leave it up to a random number generator to pick one for me because I am bad at making decisions, and it just happened to land on another Nancy Drew game. And despite, you know, what it might sound like, I do actually really enjoy these. The, them and just something about their idiosyncrasies. I really enjoy them even though they can be quite challenging and frustrating at times. Um, partly it's nostalgia. I did play some of them when I was the younger. Year, 1930. Oh, the place, oh, hold the road that thought. to Titusville, where we find Nancy Drew behind the wheel of her blue roadster pondering this question. Why did Emily Crandall, a girl whom Nancy knows only through their mutual friend Helen Corning, ask Nancy to drive all the way out to the Lilac Inn to see her. Does it have something to do with the fact that Emily's mother died barely a month earlier, leaving Emily to run the restaurant with only her guardian to help her? And more important, why, when she called, did Emily sound so desperate? The spunky teenager turns off the main road, blissfully unaware that Emily isn't all that awaits her at the end of the driveway. No, Nancy Drew is about to get her first taste of the mystery, intrigue, and adventure that are to become her destiny. Ah, it must be the first one. It must be the first one. Okay, so as I was trying to, as I was gonna say before the um, explanation of the story kicked in there, um, I used to play these as a kid, which I don't remember when they came out, but when they first started coming out and there weren't like 40 of them yet, um, I used to play these and they were much easier when I was little. Uh, the puzzles have gotten much more difficult as they've progressed through making them. Um, I don't know if that's just because my brain isn't as up for puzzles anymore for whatever reason, or if they are legitimately more difficult. What's over here? Um, but it's also, I read a whole bunch of the Nancy Drew books as a kid, and I think this one must be the first one. I was gonna say it's one of the first ones, but I think it actually is the first one. It's the one that kicks off her whole detective career. And I know the Lilac Inn was straight ahead of me, but I feel like I should be exploring. That's why I'm exploring. Do not disturb. Let me in. Uh, R. Oh, that's a puzzle. Okay. Well, I can't get in there yet. Um, but yeah, so it's kind of a combination of... Just, I read so many Nancy Drew books as a kid, and also I had some of the earlier oh, games as a- go? What the oh, hell is this? Well. Oh. Uh, as a kid, so they're- they're nostalgic. Um, and that's why I play them, partly. Also, I just- they're so silly. I just kind of love it. Ooh, this is also a puzzle that I'm not gonna do right now. Nope. Nope, Nancy, leave the pies alone. I'm Emily's guardian. But only for the next three months. You sound like John Cusack. Then so she's just on her own. Bearcat like you instead of some dumb Dora Bear like cat. me. Go on up. What? She's in a room. Just make like a Boy Scout and be prepared. I don't even think even in the 30s people talked like this, did they? That can't be right. You and I may not be best friends or anything, but you're still one of the nicest people <laughs> I know. Oh, I really want to say you obviously need to get out more. <laughs> but that's so mean. Well, I can't do it. <laughs> See this jewelry? I'd like you to take it home with you and put it in your father's safe. Okay. It's beautiful. It was my mother's. Why don't you just lock the box it's in? It, she looked and Jane probably told you that I've been acting loony, but please do this for me. What in the? Okay, I wouldn't call actual that? like explosion ah! noises you being Emily, loony. Quick, I've been here fire. for five minutes. Come on, this is like we playing a game of, of The Sims. Stop setting yourselves on fire. Oh my goodness, so much is happening. I better get that. The line to the regular phone got burned up in the Oh, uh, but I need so to call my dad. How, why, I, how can I call porch. my dad if you're Excuse using me. the only phone in the house? Oh, no! Emily? Oh boy, alright. Man, Nancy, I hope you don't ever want to sleep. Because this is what's happening now. It might be an inn, but you're not getting any rest. My mother's jewelry! It's gone! Someone must have stolen it while we were all downstairs. I knew something like this was going to happen. I just knew it. <laughs> yeah, start accusing her right now. Sort of Good job, Nancy. Before. He gave us a clock, and afterwards, mm, he'd always point to it and get this little clock. twinkle in his eye and say, Time will tell. But when uh, they finally found his will, he didn't mm, leave us a penny. That's because it's in the clock! But I have to figure out how to open it. 
Okay, so that's where I was exploring don't earlier. Your father. And I'm guessing it's the one that's not the barn. I don't know, maybe he lived in the barn. I can't get into the barn regardless, so let's just go. Um, I think the first task I was assigned, I think, was call my dad. Call, uh, what's his name? Carson Drew? Okay, okay, look at these questions that Nancy wants to ask, okay? She's supposed to be, like, this really smart teenage detective, like, like the Scooby gang, but she doesn't need anybody else. Ex well, I guess Bess and George are there sometimes, and sometimes Ned. Okay, so mostly herself, but, like, look at these questions. If somebody leaves something to- says they're gonna leave something to you in their well and then doesn't, is there anything you can do about it? And what does a guardian do anyway? Nancy. All right, let's go to town. Uh, let's get in the car. <laughs> yeah, in the car. In the car. Here we go. I don't actually have to drive this car, do I? I'm not actually driving. I'm not driving right now. Yeah. You think maybe it was- Oh, I do have to drive myself. That- Yeah, that's- That. Hit the space bar to park, of course. Okay, so we've got a nursery. So I can't read what that says. Oops, I hit a pothole. That's mud. Oh my goodness. Okay, where do I have to go? I have to go to the bank and I have to go to the telegram place. Something At least they're right next door you. to each other. Well, my name's Nancy Drew and my father's- Tubby's National- that's a real picture. Wait, so Tubby's National Thank Telegraphs you. was an welcome. actual Say, thing? Your roadster out there? Yes, it is. You mean the one yeah, I just got out of? Jim Archer. I'm founder, president, manager, and just about everything else you can name when it comes to this fine enterprise. How is that possible? It's a giant bank. Well, actually, it's a pretty small town. Maybe it's not a giant bank. I don't know. Then being saddled with that restaurant oh, especially now. Oh, I was wondering why she had so many, like, dialogue options that dealt with banks not doing well, and then I realized that it's 1930. I got it. I got it. I know what the Great Depression was. I'm happy to report that we're doing just fine, thank you. Hmm. Excuse me. That's suspicious. Bank, Jim Potentially. I heard there'd been a fire in the kitchen, but... How did you hear that? It pours, doesn't it? I it's 1930, Gloria it's not, not like somebody texted laugh. you or it popped up on your news alerts. Unless she told you over the phone, how do you know? When he named me executor, he said he'd tell me where it was hidden when the time was right. Whatever that meant. I don't know. It couldn't have anything to do with the clock that he gave to somebody as part of his will, I'm assuming, that you finally found. And there's definitely no reason he kept referencing time and gave somebody a clock. Maybe it's because it wasn't in Josiah's house. Maybe the key now is in the true. clock. I wouldn't guys, guys, I could solve this mystery for you in about two seconds. Is this your car? That's the car I saw, um, though, when I was driving to the place and she said it, it was gone when we passed back by coming into town. That's that car, right? Right? Now, let's see if anybody sold jewelry to here. Hello. Need something? No, I'm just looking oh. around. Well, look around somewhere else. Some people in this town work for a living. Well, well, excuse you, how else am I supposed to pick jewelry unless I look at it first? There's some awfully, like, cheery, bouncy music happening, considering so, what's going on here. Right. I could have gone to the sheriff while I was driving around, but I am guess I'm only useful to a point. Can I look at the clock and just pop it open and then solve this in about two minutes? Probably not. There's probably some reason I can't- yeah, I can't even look at it. Alright, well, I'm- Spoilers, I'm pretty sure the secret's in the clock. Alright, let's go play mini golf, because that sounds like it's gonna help with this mystery. Ah, grab it, Got grab it. it! Looks like someone One metal recently key. had a key appraised. Uh, yep. Oh, I have to- that said the jeweler. I should go back to the jeweler. Uh, well, he was rude to me last time, so I'm gonna investigate this way first, so there. How nice of you to drop by. And thank you for walking instead Your voice of does not match your face. I'm also, who are you? I'd hate. That's what I do with my cerebral emanations. My thoughts. Oh my god, you're pretentious. I haven't had an op I've been talking to this guy for like five minutes and I haven't had an option to walk away yet and it's really bothering me because I just want him to shut up. Shall we say intellectually unendowed? I beg your pardon? My brain waves are just fine, Mr. Topham. More force, Nancy. What I have here is an exercise in logic. If you can discern the correct solution, then I'll know that conversing with you will do me no psychic harm. Oh, for God's sake. Good I've... luck and good day. Screw you! All wet. That looks right. Yeah! 
Because that wasn't hard. Doll up. Am I smart or what? You see how long this has taken me? Jerk. Double cross. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. All right. That looks Come right. on. You already used that one. That's not even trying. Am I smart or what? That was easy. Really? That's all I had to do Am to I get you to talk to me? You have the correct solution to that logic problem. See, I told you my brain waves were Let's fine. Have a look. Why, you appear to have indeed found the solution. Yeah, well, because those were proved yourself baby to be puzzles for babies. Above average, which means talking to you should do me no harm. What would you like to talk about? Nothing. I just wanted to prove that I'm smarter than you. Apparently this guy knows everything about everybody and I have to ask him a million questions. Nancy, get away. Run away while you still can. This guy is not worth anybody's time. He's probably the mur murderer? No. Did anyone get murdered? I don't know yet. <laughs> but he probably stole the jewelry somehow. With his mind powers. Oh, thank God. All right. I'm done with you. I never, never ever want to talk to you again. I'm gonna have to, but... Oh, is it this clock? Hmm. Maybe, maybe it's this clock. Come on. Somebody would have pieced this together already. Somebody who says time will tell that often and has five bajillion clocks on his wall. Somebody's gonna make the connection. Lock on carriage house. What are you when you win bard bounce? A winner. No. See, these are more complicated, but I think... What poet is the cat's meow? T.S. Eliot? Roomba off tunnel by scrambled picture to open the big TikTok on top. Give flute, thisbe, and pajamas their cues. Bottom's cue is in note to Gloria. Yes, that's from a production of A Midsummer Night's Dream that he directed and starred in. It closed after two nights, but he didn't care. He loved that play. Hmm. Okay. So there's gonna be a Midsummer Night's Dream cl- Oh! Bottom. Not bottom as in location, bottom as in the character. Got it, thank you. Now let's play some mini golf. Okay, 10 cents. Boop, ba doop, boop, boop. Scorecard. Okay, and I need a golf club. Do I really need the club? Maybe I should just, uh, just walk up to the hole and drop it in. No one's here, no one would know. Hole one, par five. Oh, I, oh my god, I actually have to do this? Oh boy. Is there- is there a reason to this? Is there a reason I'm doing this? Or is Nancy just already bored? And she's like, screw this, I'm just gonna play golf. I hit it too hard. No you didn't, Nancy. What'd I do? What's that? what? 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 What's this? What's happening? I need- hey, I need that! What are you doing? What? What? How come the golf ball gets to ride a minecart ride and I don't? What kind of nonsense is this? No, I don't care. I think all I needed was the number on the card. Make par for the course, win a prize. Oh, I have to win the prize. Dang it. Well, we'll leave that for later. Anyway, in the meantime, thank you. Uh, no, actually, in the meantime, I'm gonna go talk to the people in the inn one more time. Am I going the right way? I am. Okay, I'm gonna go talk to the people in the inn one more time and... No, I have to go back to the jeweler, don't I? Okay, fine. We'll go back to the jeweler and see what's up. Don't tell me something else. <laughs> Nancy's so up. done. It's in I was just sitting here and it moved all by itself. I it saw is a little off kilter. Really I'll give did. you that much. Last week, a book fell off the shelf for no reason. And oh, you mean that, like secret passageways behind noises. the walls, maybe? Every you mean he may have left us money after all? Yes, and no, it's in the clocks. I don't know I how many more times I have to tell you. Probably you betcha. And keep an eye you out betcha. for those jewels. The, the hell are we in Minnesota? Okay, so we're gonna drop by the jeweler again, um, and see if he has any information. Since the uh, uh, I got that receipt Hello, or whatever it was, so what let's see I what am. he says. I found. Oh yeah, this was for that key Jim Archer wanted me to appraise. Mm. Jim Archer wanted you to appraise a key? It was very ornate. Had jewels all over it. Fake jewels, as it turned out. 
When I told him it was worthless, the cheapskate refused to pay me and told me to keep it. Great, so that's been another Nancy Drew. Thank you for joining me once again for one. Um, I don't know if I'll be continuing this one anymore or not. It's more fun with friends, definitely. But um, I, yeah, I don't know. If you want to see more, let me know. I understand if not, but I, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like and subscribe, please, and hit that bell icon if you want more notifications from me in the future, and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Welcome to Zippies, where zipless service is zippily zapped, and zippy service is the zippiest. Fill her up. Just 25 cents worth, please. That'll be 25 cents. Here you go. Thank you, miss. Anything else?